Welcome back, Patty Spittler's here Hello. from Pet Pals TV with Shelly Fisher, the pet therapy manager at Eskenazi Health Hospital, and Julia here as well with who's this? This is Peyton. And Peyton. <laughs> Who's just going to steal the show from all of us, ladies? This is what happens. We, we come on here, we do our hair with makeup, and everyone's like, well, look at the dog. <laughs> <laughs> and I got a toy. So <laughs> there we go. Uh, and and Shelly has something really special. She got an incredible award. Tell us yeah, about that. Well, this is a um, course that I took, um, a canine assisted intervention specialist through the University of Denver. Um, it's with their Institute of Human and Animal Connection. Um, and really, in this field, we really want to um, become more mutual uh, with our dogs, partnering mm -hmm. with them and making sure they're benefiting from the interaction just as much as our patients are. So this um, course really kind of opened my eyes to a lot of different um, ideas and also, you know, dog language. That's a big part mm. of us being able to read dog language. You know, they're always talking to us. It just it depends if we're listening to them and so being able to kind of get a hold of that and this is a great book for that it's called doggy um, language it's just a small little book um, really something that you've used then yeah, as you yeah. well and for folks going wait a minute wait a minute you said she's with Eskenazi Health why is she talking about dogs well because you <laughs> use dogs so much in therapy with patients as yeah. they're recovering and, and absolutely needing a dog to snuggle <laughs> <right>? absolutely <laughs> we do and and some of the things that we do do like um, for patients that um, aren't able to supinate which means put their hand out to give a treat um, we have this little tube that they can hold into their hand and people can even use this at home hmm. and drop a treat down um, like a, like a, side. like a, uh, what are those called, Patty? Pool noodles. Yeah. Pool noodles, yep, yeah. that's what these are. And then this is an extra, like, you can do that, but then also you can use it as something where people can grasp and hold on to and reach out and give a treat oh. to for more mobility. Right. Um, these puzzles are wonderful for uh, mental stimulation with the dogs, but also um, for fine motor skills for patients. So and how does able, that work? So being able to, like, like let's say we cut up carrots for the dog and we put a, a treat in the middle here. The patient has to pick up this treat and put it in. For a stroke patient or a burn patient, ah. that takes mobility. Um, but they're they're very motivated to do it because they're waiting. The dog is waiting the patiently. The dog's like, please, 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 yeah. can you achieve this <laughs> and then, for me? And then putting this down and then giving it to the dog and then watching them problem uh, solve as well. Okay, so we need to have so Julia have a training tip yeah. here. Go ahead. So this is Payne. She's 14 weeks old and she's from Colonial Village Labradoodles. And my training tip would be to be patient with them. To <laughs> <laughs> right. And what they do. How, have you been working with Peyton in particular? Yes. Uh, how has she been doing? She's super good. She really, um, she's really good at doing her sits and her downs. Um, she's learning how to stay right now, but mm -hmm. she's 14 weeks old, so she has a while to go. Would you say that she's got patience, or you need to have the most patience? Um, she has good patience, but I think it's most important for us to have patience while they're still <laughs> oh. learning. And make okay. A and we want to talk about Eskenazi. Too. Yes, the therapy program, the canine yeah. garden, yes. and we have some video here too. Yeah, we're, we're still um, outside. It's been a little hot, so in the mornings we were able to come outside. Uh -huh. um, and then visiting patients, um, a lot of times with our burn patients, we do have a gym out inside that we've been using. But the garden has been a wonderful asset to us, um, even for patients just to come outside and get some fresh air. Um, it's been really a, a blessing for it us. It looks shady in there too. Yes. That makes a big difference. It's shady. I think for uh, one hour every day we have full sun out there and the rest of the time we have bits and parts of shade. So it works out really, really well. Yeah. I love it. And this there. is fairly safe. I mean, you're outside. Mm -hmm. So, you know, and you're mm -hmm. socially. Sp and that's <laughs> oh my God. What am I watching? That's there. Ollie. What? This is Indy. Oh. Um, yeah, Ollie comes to the hospital. That's Charlie. He's figuring out the puzzle right now, which is kind of fun. And so these are dogs that are there consistently yes. and, and mm -hmm. are trusted by the medical staff there, but then, as you mentioned, are also helping patients achieve their medical oh, goals. Yes. You get the kids, if, if you can, you know, to get out. And do we know dogs make us healthier and live longer and enjoy life more? So if right. you can get out, there's Marine. Uh, and enjoy this in the garden. And I don't know of any other place that has a garden like this that you do. Yeah, I, I, it's, it's just been wonderful for what the leadership has been able to let us have, and the donors have been great. Um, so I really... And you're accredited in a whole new way now. Oh, yes. Congratulations from the University <laughs> of Denver. And good Thank luck you. to you, my dear, as you continue your training and with your patience. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you can share that advice with others. And 
just along the lines of, of pet care and love, as we always hear on Pet Pals TV. It's wonderful. Uh, coming up Pet Pals TV, we've got some more Clydesdales. We're going to talk about that, the Bengal cat. Uh, starting at 10 o'clock, too, with Great Day TV, uh, we've got a take a look at, <laughs> believe it or not, my 1989 interview with Kevin Costner, the MLB, they, they redid the uh, the Field of Dreams thing. Right. Oh, so yeah. I thought, wait a minute, I've got an interview with that. So take a look back at us uh, 30 some years ago. <laughs> it was kind of fun. <laughs> I believe it. Patty, thanks for coming on and always bringing fabulous guests <laughs> and making us smile and laugh too. Ladies, thanks for all your hard work. Sure.